Pope Paul VI wrote seven encyclicals in his 15-year pontificate. The last one was Humanae Vitae, perhaps one of the most debated documents in the recent history of the Church. For him, the intense debate over this document was so shocking that from 1968 until his death, he never published another encyclical. He wrote other documents, apostolic exhortations, letters, constitutions, but never an encyclical. Back in the 1960s, the United States and much of the Western world were undergoing dramatic changes in their cultural and social landscape. The younger generation of students from the late 60s rebelled against their parents' values, especially when it came to morality and sexuality. Paul VI had to implement the changes of the Second Vatican Council in the middle of a wider crisis. It went beyond the church. It was a social, political and cultural crisis. And so Paul VI decided to publish Umana Vitae. The document focuses on responsible parenthood and addresses moral issues such as the use of contraceptives among Catholics. In it, the Pope wrote that unity and procreation are inherent to one another in marriage. The Church expected criticism and opposition from non-Catholics, but it was astounded by the pushback from many Catholics themselves. Something like this had never happened within the Church. There was criticism of many encyclicals from the 1800s from liberal sectors, but never a widespread response from within the Church. Theologians, the people of God, even bishops rejected his magisterium. Even back then, Paul VI warned about the possible consequences this new lifestyle could have on the family. Consequences such as infidelity, the loss of respect towards women, and the use of contraceptive methods as a new state policy. In an interview published this March, Pope Francis said that Umana Vitae was prophetic and that Paul VI had the courage to go against the majority and to defend moral discipline. In fact, the topic for Pope Francis' first synod will be precisely on the family. It's little surprise then that Paul VI will be beatified on October 19th, the last day of that synod.